So here's a rough look at our rear A-arm design we're doing so far. Um, this point here, as well as this point, as well as the length of the bottom, are going to be fixed points due to the length of the CV shaft, as well as the mounting brackets here and here. So that means we can adjust the width here, as well as the length of the top arm. So right now I have the bottom arm set at 17 inches and the top set at 16 inches. And as you can see, um, this would represent the fixed point on the chassis and then that's representing the wheel. So when the suspension cycles, you get a good amount of camber so that way your side loading force here will tip the tire out as you're riding in the buggy. And then at full compression, which would be about there, your ride height still cambered a little bit, which is good. Hopefully that doesn't leave us with any misalignments with the CV shaft. We'll let you know how it goes. All right, we're working on the rear A arms here. Uh, we did discover one issue we're gonna have the CV shaft did not slide uh, up against the frame as much as we thought. So our first A-arm here we made was going to be significantly short, like by four inches. So we decided to move the uh, bottom A-arm to the top, so they fit here. They will fit nicely there. And then we made new A arms for the bottom, which are over here. These will fit nicely here. Yep, we'll see you when we get them mounted. Levi's over here. Drilling the mounting holes for the A arms. I've been over here working on welding up the A arms. Weld them up over there and then take them over here and grind them. Coming along. Got the mounts done for the A arms. Got them mounted up. And then we got the supports for the pillow blocks. Then we got the one side of the arm done. We'll have about that much, much travel. Uh, next we gotta just work on the other side, get that one done, and then start working on shocks. Figure out where our shock towers need to go. Shocks should be going about right there, somewhere along there. We just got the right side A-arm tacked up. Tacked up. Cycles nicely. Spins very nice. Hopefully we don't lose a lot of power there. 
Next up, we're probably gonna finish engine mounts. So that way we can put the chain on and run it through, um, just let it idle and make sure nothing binds up as the axle is spinning. See you then.